Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Crux. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't made a video in a long time, and my haircut is stupid. I know. Don't get me started. Um, but anyway, this is a serious video, so I have to be serious here. It's something I'm really pissed off about. I had to make a video of it at some point. Everyone's doing it, so I had to do it. Not because everyone's doing it, but just because it just has to be done. Um, so... The other day, Wikipedia, Google, Imgur, they all did things to pro to support protesting against something called SOPA. It stands S-O-P-A, Stop Online Piracy Act. Um, now, it seems innocent enough that you would um, get rid of all piracy on the internet, and I would support that. However, if you look really closely into SOPA, you would see that there's a lot of things about copyright, and if you did some sort of copyright violation, you would spend up to 50 years in jail without bail. Um, also, there are way too many things, like if someone posted one copyright thing on one site, that whole site could be, uh, is subject to termination due to that one comment, and they could sue for it. So, it was not a well thought out, um, bill. Uh, and it didn't work, and the internet knew so. The internet was like, hell no, this is not happening, we can't have this bill come into play, and there was so much protesting, it was really unbelievable, and it got almost no support. So, it was vetoed today. So now, what is the concern, you might be asking me? The government doesn't care. And now, he, he, I've done a lot of research into this, I'm not just saying this willy-nilly, I'm not just saying this... Uh, because I'm angry, I'm not being dramatic here or anything. I've done a lot of research on this. In fact, I've changed this to my English project. I've done a lot of research on this. The government, I was hoping, was going to rewrite SOPA, was going to rewrite a bill that, it so that does exactly what it sounds like, stops online piracy. Doesn't worry about all this copyright crap and doesn't have all these back doors to getting people thrown in jail and paying tons of money and websites being shut down and the internet being crazily censored. I expected that to be done. Last night, it upset me. Mega Upload is a website uh, where you basically can upload files, etc., etc., you download them, and people were using it the wrong way. And because of that, the government shut down Mega Upload last night. Now, it doesn't seem like much, Mega Upload. Oh, it's just one website. They've shut down plenty of sites before, blah, blah, blah. The glare is in my face. I'm very sorry. It's a big deal. Here's why it's a big deal. Number one, if you did some research, Mega Upload had 4% of the internet on it. 4%. The government has just gotten rid of 4% of our internet. So while still, you know, it's 100%, it's smaller now because it's four percent less it doesn't seem like much but I mean it's a lot when you look at the whole internet four percent of the entire freaking internet it's huge the internet and four percent oh my god it's really bad and that's not the big problem the big problem is that they are accusing the head people and the CEO and the head executives of committing this crime they created a site called mega upload it wasn't meant for pirating. It wasn't meant for these things. If it was, I mean, what's the harm? There are tons of pirating websites. There's things like the Pirate Bay, there's Demonoid, there's all these popular, purposeful pirating websites. Mega Upload, what the heck? I mean, if you wanted to create a pirating website, you'd make it out of the United States. You wouldn't make it in the United States. Also, you wouldn't call it Mega Upload. There are a lot of these file sharing sites that are extremely useful and tons of people use. I've used them tons of times, not for illegal purposes, but I've just used them because they're a necessary tool. I use Mediafire. I didn't use Mega Upload, but there have been times when I had to download someone else's file off of Mega Upload. And this is a huge thing the government has done. And after much research and things, the head executives and the CEO of Mega Upload are facing up to 50 years in prison without bail, having up to 250,000, 250 million dollar fines. 
what does this sound like? It sounds like the penalty to SOPA to me. And then after much more research, we found out that the uh, the House of um, the House of Justice, we call it the Hodge, the House of Justice said that they were going to shut down Mega Upload just as soon as SOPA was approved. Once the internet was like, yo, we're pissed off, and we're going to screw this bill over, and it lost all of its credibility, they were like, okay, this isn't going to pass, but let's do it anyway. This is really bad, because the government is now not getting rid of the idea of censoring the internet. While I find it's very important to get rid of all online piracy, I don't feel it's right to censor the internet, which is exactly what they are doing. People have their rights and they have their privileges and also not to mention that this whole thing has gone too far I have been following uh, people like anonymous who are doing huge crazy things about this and it's gone too far while I do support anonymous and I love what they're doing and I think it's great uh, it shouldn't have ever gone this far and whose fault is it it's the government's fault I hate saying that I'm a crazy huge Democrat and I used to love the gut in fact I still love the government I'm a huge government supporter but this was a dumb move it was really really bad and now we are in this huge situation of a gigantic cyber war we're in what they're calling a new era and it's it's unnecessary it's really really bad Oh my gosh. But so anyway, I didn't even finish my my statement before. Under more research, um, uh, what's it called? Anonymous, they said that they were going to have a, um, they were going to protest on, uh, on, um, the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. today. When they arrived today, there was about 30 police officers standing there. This breaks one of our amendments. This is against our rights because we have the right to assemble. They were standing there ready to arrest anyone who came to protest. What were they protesting? There wasn't even a law. The government clearly knows that they have something going on here and it's really, really sketchy and it's really, really bad because we are losing all hope in the government, and our hope is being put into an organization like Anonymous. While Anonymous is a good organization, and I appreciate what they're doing, and I think what they're doing is great, I should have to trust my government. And people are not having a say over their government. People deserve a say over their government. That was the revolution in Libya. People didn't have, people didn't have a say over their government in Libya and we were disgusted by that and we decided we were gonna do something about that until the guy stepped down and then you know whatever whatever it was all over happy story ponies and unicorns and lots of rainbows however this is happening in our country now while it seems like oh the internet's being censored it's not a big deal it is a big deal we are losing our rights and the government feels that it's okay and I'm saying the government the government the government I mean the government it's really getting out of control. What am I asking you to do? There's several things you can do. This is not a call to arms. It's a call to recognition. <laughs> As you can see, I posted that video previously. Um, it really inspired me to make this video because it's really necessary. I was really, really annoyed with the whole death of Mega Upload and everything. So, what can you do? There's several things you could do. The biggest thing you can do is watch Anonymous's video, the one that I posted earlier. Uh, uh, and then they'll tell you a lot of stuff you can do. They're the ones who are really running this. I'm the one who's spreading the word, telling you you have to do something about this because it's getting out of control. What can I do about it? Hey, I'm cooped up in this little green room with the crabby couch from the 80s and the stupid painting that no one ever looks at. I, I have almost nothing I can do except on the internet. And if this keeps going, the internet is going to be censored, and I'm not going to have a say. What I'm doing could eventually be wrong. We could be turning into one of those countries that you don't even have 
your freedom of speech. You you say one thing that's wrong, and you could be killed. Like my mom, she always says, you're so lucky to live in the country you live in. Because remember that man that threw that shoe at George Bush? If that man lived in a different country, he'd probably be dead right now. I'm thinking about this now, and I'm thinking in 20 years' time, if, if the government keeps this up, we could have the same exact situation. And is it right? No. So I will have a link in the description to the video made by Anonymous that they posted earlier. It has the full regular, um, uh, what's it called? Description that they posted. And it's really important that you guys watch that video. That's what I can say. Also, subscribe to them on Twitter. They give, if you follow, if you go on Twitter. Subscribe to them on Twitter. They give, they give all the latest news, they give you the updates, they give you everything. It's really important, and it's it's really important what they're doing here, guys, and it's really important that we show the government what they're doing is wrong, and that we are the United States of America, and we are a country that needs to be fixed at the moment. So, um, sorry for my attitude in this video, guys. But I'm really kind of pissed off by this, and I, I'm I know I'm just a kid, and I know I'm just someone off the street, and I know it shouldn't be such a big deal to me. It's a big deal when I'm losing my rights, and <laughs> trust me, I don't feel safe, and that's that's why it's it's weird to me. Like I can already predict my father being like, Jack, it doesn't affect you that much. It'll affect me. At one point, it really will affect me. Um, to to see that my government is shutting down my internet. It's like the internet is my home. I mean, as much as I can say that. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, remember to comment any questions or concerns you have. I would love to respond to those. Um, and, uh, yeah, have a good day, guys, and be sure to watch that video. Peace.